The Stanley Parable. There's more endings, and fewer endings. More narrators, and fewer narrators. More Stanley, and less Stanley. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it either. Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Herrer, and welcome back to more The Stanley Parable. In the last episode, we jumped out of window and heard the narrator's lovely song. It was, it was quite nice. You should go watch it if you haven't. Uh, and then we went to an escape pod, and then I tried to get to an uh, ending, and I couldn't because I was all confused, but I have researched some more in between episodes, and I'm hoping that we can get to that because I really want to show that. We really want to show all the endings that I possibly can, and I think that we should be able, if we can get this uh, ending here, uh, or if I can get it, I guess, it's, I mean, if, it, it, I mean, I, I'm doing it, but I'm... I can't wait to tell awesome this story so to my co-workers, you. Stanley thought. Um, How amusing they'll find it. Oh, but we I want to get all the endings that I possibly can. And I'm missing. thinking that I may know how to do it. I'm not sure. Um, I'm looking for... Basically, what we need to do for this ending, we need to find computers uh, that are awaiting input. Even so, now, Stanley's office no. was a distant okay. memory. Um, what did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? He could no longer recall. Okay. Um... I'm sorry if you were li watching that. I'm not sure if that the narrator was done talking. I really like how he says different things. I apologize if you if he wasn't done talking. Stanley and decided I to go to the off. meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, this is going well because things are not happening like I'm wanting them to. Um. Okay. Well. You know what, let's just, I'm going to go for the other endings that we can get to, uh, and then, this is the right way, yeah, okay. Uh, Stanley came and to then, a set of two open uh, maybe doors. that'll be the last one, because I'll have to left. work at it for a while, and, anyway, I just want to kind of get uh, these other ones not out of the way, I want to get them done. Yet, let's there was do not that. a single okay. person here either. Feeling so I, a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. So I touched, I guess touched upon it, uh, I went, there was an ending, kind Stanley of an ending Stanley stepped there. into the broom closet, but, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. I kind of did this, I think, in the first episode, but there's actually kind of, if you wait in here for a few minutes, the narrator keeps talking and stuff, so, uh, there was nothing here. Really sitting in here no for a while. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom oh, closet. Whoops. No reason to still be here. No. Lovely, uh, monkey wrench there, and, uh. Some stuff, radioactive stuff. It was stuff. baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. Yeah. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> okay. So, how have you guys been? Uh, are, I, you, are you really we... still in the broom closet? <laughs> standing around doing nothing? Why? So you're Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> if I haven't said this enough already, I really like the narrator in this game. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance <laughs> to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Yeah, but oh well. So, like I said, oh, I guess I can Maybe show something in here. This is somehow its own branching path. Um. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, "Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite." <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> okay, so if you type in a uh, face punch, I believe. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really yeah. stupid. He probably only wow. got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. Well, that or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Okay, I didn't expect that for you, narrator. But anyway, if you type in uh, face punch, well, you I've get come this to a very definite everywhere. conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. Oh yeah. You got to this room closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical melody of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Exactly. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. I'll go do that right away. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? 
the person at this computer is dead. Huh? He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. <laughs> it's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. All right, so I'll just come, uh, have someone come and get my dead body, and then uh, they'll replace me. So uh, I'm just going to go do that, and I'll be back in a second. Yeah, right. Okay, let me just step out of here and see what happens. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Huh. So does it just keep saying the same things? Coming to a staircase, oh, Stanley well, walked boring. up. Okay, well let's, because I think we can go in there again and he'll say new stuff. So, of course we want to do that. Okay, uh, something I want to talk about on the way there. Um, if you remember, Stanley in the had episode... never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? Before, I think it's before he hoped it was. Before he hoped very the Minecraft much that it episode was. of this game where uh, the narrator takes us into Minecraft, uh, a game of Minecraft kind of. Uh, there's a baby game that you have to stop, press a button, and uh, you stop the baby uh, from going into fire, and the narrator says that you only like, really understand and get the game uh, if you play it for four hours. Left. Believe it or not, there is uh, there's an ending for that if you sit there and press the button and stop the baby going into the fire for four hours. To be honest, I'm not willing to do that, unfortunately. So, but there is someone who has, um, and I'll... I'm pretty sure there's someone who has at least. If I could find that video, I'll put it in a uh, link in the description because that's that's dedication there and a uh, good job whoever did that. Yet uh, there was not a single person here either. So, like Feeling I said, way not really disbelief. willing to do that. So Stanley there for four decided hours to go that, up to his boss's game. office, so, uh, hoping he might yeah. find an answer. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Yeah. No! 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 Yeah, yeah, not yeah, again! Yeah, yeah. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. Okay. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Sorry, I popped my knuckles there. I'm not sure if I know some people don't like that, so didn't I just kind of did it without thinking? Sorry. So, uh, I guess we're here now. So I'm assuming that he'll say more things. Uh, if he doesn't, then I'll just get away, and uh, we'll start on the next thing. So, uh, yeah. So uh, this is a good time that we have have to ourselves. So, uh, um, how is you guys guys this holiday? I mean, if you're watching this in the future, how is the past few weeks of your life? Really? That that's cool. That's cool. I'm, I'm glad. Uh, yeah. So, uh, that's cool. I have no idea what you're saying, but I'm um, go on. I mean, yeah, I'm listening. But not really. But go ahead, pretend I'm listening. Tell me all about it. So I'll look look at the glare on the light. Yeah, no glare. That's cool, actually. I'm, I'm being entertained by a light bulb. This is what this game has come to. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to sit here for uh, maybe a minute or two more, and if nothing happens, then uh, I'll go on to the next ending. Okay, I don't think the narrator is going to say anything more, so let's... I'm going to step out of the closet and see if he says anything. No, nothing? Does he just say whatever here? Coming to a yep. staircase, okay. Stanley walked upstairs um, to his... So what um, we have to do here is, is technically a cheat, I guess. Um, we have to well, we um, we have to do is if you if you have this game at least, um, you have to like go into the properties on uh, on uh, Steam and like type in some stuff. Um, I'm gonna go do that right now, and since uh, because I have Windows 8 and perhaps technically it doesn't record anything except gameplay on Windows 8 as of right now. I can't show me doing this, so I'll be back whenever I've done that. So, see you in a second. Okay, so I, uh, what you have to do for this ending, and I hope I've done this right, uh, you have to go in, t you have to go on Steam's, and then, uh, go to the properties of the game, and then go, uh, to launch, uh, set launch settings or something, uh, game launch settings, something like that. Uh, and then you type in dash dev dash console, uh, and then, from what I understand, we begin the game, 
and this should do something different, I'm hoping. It's taking a second to load, so I'm kind of hoping that this... this oh no, something did not go right, I don't think. I'm going to try typing in what we're supposed to and see if that works. S V underscore cheats one. Well, that did absolutely nothing, and I think I may have done something incorrectly. So let's try. I'm gonna go try and see if I can fix that, and I'll be back. All right, as you can see here, it looks like I uh, did. I basically I didn't put a space where there needed to be one. There, it's a uh, dash. Uh, dev dev space dash console all lowercase and so what we need to do now is and I hope s v underscore sheets one so let's try that unknown command cool um let's try cheats that one yes I hope Stanley, this is me being serious. In fact, this is my serious room. Oh. It's where I come to be serious. Oh, crap. That table is the most serious table I could find. It's serious. I looked at many, many tables, hundreds of tables. It's possible I looked at over a thousand tables. That's, I honestly that's don't dedication. know. The specific number isn't as important as the understanding that of all tables I looked at, this one is the most serious. It's hardcore serious. I relate this story to impress upon you the extent to which this is the most serious room I have, which is why I brought you here. You just tried to activate server cheats, which of course runs the risk of breaking the entire game. Uh huh. You've got no respect for the strict order of scripted narrative events, and I just can't have that. I'm sorry. It's time to get serious, Stanley. Oh. No jokes, no games. Outside of this room, I might be more tolerant of those things, but now we're in the room. Ooh. Which is why I'm subjecting you to the most serious punishment I can think of. One hundred billion trillion years standing here in the serious room. Wow. Perhaps after that, we can talk about the severity of your actions and whether you've learned anything. But until then, serious room, go. Well, guys, it uh, looks like we're going to be here a while, so... Uh, I mean, we might as well start telling each other secrets. Um, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how to say this, guys, but... Just gonna go for it. Yesterday, I got a haircut. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just uh, my hair was getting long. It was it was like it was, it was in front of my eyes and it was, it was touching my eye my eyelashes and it was really annoying. And I'm I'm sorry. I'm just I know none of you have seen me at this point, and none of you know what I look like, and. It's, but I felt like I needed to share that secret. I'm sorry, but, uh, but it feels so much, it feels so good to have that off of my chest. Like, it feels so good to have that hair off of my head, too. So, I'm glad that we could share this, this serious moment with each other, and I think that is definitely worth one billion trillion years of thinking seriously, and... You know, I think the narrator would agree uh, with me when I say this, that that's, it's very serious, and it is, we can definitely, like, begin the game again. So, I look at that, Mr. Harrier. So, yeah, I'm glad that we could share that, uh, share that moment, and now uh, we're going to, I'm going to go see if I can find that other uh, ending and figure out how to do it, so I'll be back. Hopefully it won't take too long, and hopefully I can get it done. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, I think that I have finally gotten this uh, to work, so we just need to put the input there, and then begin the game again. And I really hope I didn't just just mess uh, mess this up. But okay, let's do this. All there, of these co-workers were gone. I have no what idea. What could it mean? Um, Stanley decided to go to the From meeting room. What I Perhaps you have to Mr. Memo. find these and then yes, all right, cool. You have to get these, and then you have to restart the or begin the game again. And I think the next one is in our boss's uh, office thing. 
so okay um wait let me just make sure okay and already then last... this was uncomfortable okay. yeah and Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in that he would never leave it again in his life I really like the narrator in this game I know I've said that so many times but I do uh, so we're gonna go up to our when boss's Stanley office came to a set of two and open doors, uh, hopefully he that the, his, door on his uh, the computer outside of the uh, his office will be uh, there and Yet I think there I didn't show this up before but after either. we went through the uh, broom closet thing twice belief uh, that didn't work at all. To go up well, to his boss's office, I thought he that might find an answer there. Yeah. I thought that the broom closet would be uh, boarded up from the narrator, but oh well. Um, I guess I showed that. Coming well, to really a staircase, that, Stanley yeah. walked upstairs okay. to his boss's office. Yes, we did. So, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay. Makes me feel so much better. I mean, now, but now, if like something messes, I mess something up, then it's gonna be really. Not really devastating because this is just a game, but oh well. All of his co workers were gone. Where what could it mean? is it? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Oh, Perhaps no. he had simply missed a memo. Uh, where is it? Oh, I've, I did something wrong. I did something horribly wrong. And I regret the thing that I did, even though I don't know what I did. And this is a blue room hallway. Oh gosh, I, I've messed everything up. Oh, uh, there, there may be a cut in the video coming up. Oh, I found it. Yes, yes, no yes. How okay. How hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find yes, a trace okay. of his co-workers. Where is it? Where can I press it? Let me activate the input. Stanley went around input. touching every Where's little it? thing in the office, yeah. but it didn't make a single difference. No, it Nor didn't. Did it Why advance the I? story in any no. way? Eh. I can't input that computer. I can't. Ah, yes. No. Why? Why won't you let me input on this computer? No. Please. No. Why? I'm pressing the buttons that activate the imp. Oh, it, it worked. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Alright, now, uh, we should just be able to activate Stanley's computer? Yes. Nice. And here we go. Beep, beep, okay, come on. I hope this is it. Wait, what? Something? Oh my gosh. It's button heaven. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at the buttons. Look at the buttons. Look at all the buttons. them all? Oh, this is the ending I wanted to show. <gasps> oh, this is weird. We're get I'm getting weird vertigo here. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Well, I'm glad that we got here. I'm glad that... <laughs> We have shared this experience of pressing a lot of different colored buttons circling around us together, and uh, I think that we have gotten to all the endings that we can, except for that baby one, which is, I'm not going to do. I think that's, it's understandable why I'm not going to do that one. Uh, but thank you guys for watching this, I guess, Let's Play walkthrough, whatever, of the Stanley Parable, and I'm going to go to the menu so that... Uh, we don't have all the, uh, or not orchestra, the, uh, the choir singing to us. Uh, again, thank you guys for watching this Let's Play thing. I guess, whatever you want to call it. Blind Let's Play, Eye Patch Let's Play. Just, but if you, if you haven't watched the last episode, then you wouldn't get the Eye Patch thing. Which could be awkward in, for me. Anyway, whatever. Uh, so I guess this has kind of been my first blind-ish let's play. Um, I think it went all right. Um, I don't know that I'll be doing it, like, doing another blind let's play. Um, I'd rather have a let's play where I know what I'm doing and I'm showing you guys what I'm doing. Or I'm showing you guys how to do stuff, kind of. Uh, and, but I mean, this, like I said in the first episode, the Stanley Parable is kind of a game that it, you can't really, you can let's play it, obviously. But... I think bl playing through it blind uh, is definitely the best option for it because otherwise you know what's going to happen. 
uh, and you know the thing, the kind of things that the narrator is going to say, uh, and a good job Galactic Cafe in making this game. I really, really enjoyed it. Let's go to the credits. Why not? The Stanley Parable. Oh, we get some nice music. Good job. And good job, Kevin Brighting, narrator. Narrating was amazing. Um, and again, thank you guys for watching this. Um, so I hope you guys have an awesome day slash night slash morning slash evening slash whatever other vaguely specific time of day there is. And I think that is about it. So you know, see ya.